All right, we're going to go get a, a multi-track file and mix it down from scratch to finish. Mike Sr. wrote a book called Mixing Secrets, and he has a website. And on that website, he has a bunch of multi-track files. And this one is categorized under all blues, country rock, indie funk, reggae. And it's called Flags 54. 63 tracks. And he wrote an article on it. And it's referenced here, and you can see what he did to it. We're just going to do it, wing it from scratch so you download the file and we get the zip file unzip it double click and once that's done you have a folder it's almost three gigs go into that folder and here is all the files he numbers the tracks and there's a readme, so let's check out the readme. Raw multi-track files, these are provided for educational purposes only, and the material contained in them should not be used for any commercial purpose without express permission of the copyright holders. Okay. Comprise 63, 24-bit, 44, 1, 64, 1, 64, 2, 64, 1, 64, 1, 64, 1, 64, and so this is the uh, coverage here is, is for educational purposes. So that's what I'm doing with these videos is mixing these songs down. And if you learn from watching me do it, all the better. That's how I learned. I just watched a bunch of videos online and, and other courses that I got a hold of that uh, I just watched everything I could possibly watch. And I got books. I, I got his book as well. And just read everything I could read and watch everything I could watch. So if this helps you out, great. If uh, I do something that's really screwed up, you just let me know. And uh, I'll, I'll become better from it. And we'll, we'll, all, we'll all rejoice. <laughs> 200 VPM. So uh, if you didn't have a readme file with this, you could take one of these files and get the info on it. And it would uh, tell you that it is... 44 1 24 bit so since we know that and we also know it's 200 bpm we can open up uh, the DAW of your choice so we're going to create a new session blank session we know it's 24 bit 44 1 we want stereo files to be together i don't know if there's stereo files in here regardless and i'm going to say okay it's going to ask me where to put it flags so we'll save it and then we open it up and we have this so let's let's get the MIDI up here because we want to turn off the conductor track and set this to 200 don't really have to do anything else in here right now I'm just going to save it and then I'm going to close it and I'm going to take these files, uh, flags, and then I'm going to create a directory called audio files. That's what Pro Tools calls the directory or it keeps the files. I'm going to copy these all. And actually, I'm going to, well, it's the same drive, so. I'm gonna, all right, so they're in there now. I can reopen this and do a file import audio. It's on the Pro Tools drive under screencasts, under flags, under audio files. And then I'm going to select them all I'm going to add them and not copy them because if I copied them it would create a new file for every one of these leaving these as well and put like a zero one at the end or something that's not what we want we can just add these files because they're already there put them all in a new track and there they all are
Should be 63-ish tracks, unless there's... So he did put the stereos, like you'll see here, track four, snare sample, it's a stereo. Just look and see what uh, came in here. I'm going to just remove the numbers. So the reason I'm doing that is because uh, when I come into the mixer and I'm not going to need... Uh, all of these things here let me clear out some i do it so that it won't, down here at the bottom i can see the name of the tracks like this to djembe or djembe whatever you want to call it it says mike i i know it was a mic let me get the track i don't save up with space let me for tamarine so here's another one this one says mike hand drum i'll just call hand one and two, and three, and drum two. This is called E two. That's one near, that's one far, that's two near. Class two, okay, we don't. One couple of tempo, wood block, close. And like I said, just doing this so I can see the name at the bottom. Okay, so another one with Mike Smith. And there's five trumpets. Yeah. And a trumpet effects. That guitar, reverse. We just call E, G. Sin rev one, sin rev two. Okay, and backing vocals are just B B one, B B two, B B three, B B four, B B five, B B six, B B seven. Kick over the top. Now I like to do starting wise. I like to select the all group and turn them all down to minus twelve, just to give me some headroom. Um, right now they're all going out main, which is fine. I'm going to hold down alt, select them all and set it to no input because I'm not going to be tracking anymore. I'll unmark them all. And at this point I can actually listen to it. Where does it open? Not till here, which is 22 seconds in. And uh, you can go around and listen to things. This has been edited. Well, I don't know if these are real drums or not. Room. Let's listen to the room. Interesting. Snare sample. It actually is stereo. Not a very snary. That's the reason for that. What do you want, Siri? I'm not even talking to you. All right, so I'm going to think that these are real drums. Uh, Jim Bay 
tambourine. It's good. Shaker. Hand. Claps. Cowbell. It's near and far is like a close mic and a room mic. I mean, I have an idea what you could do with that. Anvil? It sounds more like a triangle. Or a symbol. I don't really like an anvil. What do I know? Wood block, bass, acoustic, trumpet. Interesting. Um, what's this here? Sound effects. Okay, tuba. Sounds verbed out. Reverse guitar. So there's no, there's actually no guitar. <laughs> it's just a held chord. Synth reverse. So, from reading the article, that the the end was just a bunch of percussion, but there was some stuff added. So I don't know if this is the stuff that Mike Senior added, or if this is the stuff that, or if this is how the track actually came. In fact, let me make sure. That's getting it all in there. Not sure. Uh, very dynamic vocal here. I'm gonna be straight and narrow for you. Let's ride on the tips of my love. And BBs. Seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's just an acoustic guitar, three mics of an acoustic. Okay, same squeak.
Let's see, same acoustic, three microphones. Bass. Sounds good. Okay, hi hat. It's not getting it till here ish. Here's a hi hat. So these are edited toms. Somebody took out the uh, bleed in between, or it was gated on the way in, which is interesting. And they get really loud down here. Oh, this is uh, the percussion portion. Well, let's listen to it.
Okay, well, that's getting all the files into a session and setting up the session and getting it ready to go. So I'll save this session as my first iteration of this. And then I can get started in the, the next movie.